So how many different types of misconceptions have you heard about life insurance, such as, I only need to buy it when I'm older, or it's not for young people, it's not for single people, or I don't wanna buy it because I don't get to enjoy it. The people who get my money, they get to enjoy it. With that being said, just like your iPhone, just like any other piece of technology that upgrades itself, like cars that have a new body style every three, four, five years, the same thing happens, believe it or not, to life insurance. So to help get you up to speed with the three shocking things and benefits that a lot of people don't know that life insurance does, especially during tough times, I'll cover that in this episode of the Seven Fear Squad. Happening three, two, one, let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, healing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, a direct west suburb of downtown Chicago. And by the way, if you love our content, if you love what we're talking about, how to help people think like a millionaire, now in this case, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire, please click that like button and click subscribe to our YouTube page and hit notification to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. Okay, so let's get into it. This is not an episode, a video that will agree with people like Dave Ramsey, like Susie, or like all the people that you may have heard of that are financial gurus and financial coaches, quite frankly, much respect to them, but they have not upgraded their financial knowledge and financial skill sets since the 80s themselves. Now, I've been in the insurance industry since 1999, and for my 22 years currently in the life insurance industry, none of have what they've had to say on TV about life insurance, permanent life insurance, putting your mind away. Listen, I've agreed with 20% of what they had to say. If you're the type of person that's very bad with their finances, you have no direction, zero discipline, absolutely zero literacy, zero awareness of what's going on in your finances, sure, they're great to watch, they're great to be inspired by, but once you start getting a little bit more traction, and once you start understanding a little bit more sophistication and awareness, and you're not just a financial 101 type of person any longer. You've graduated to financial 202 and 303, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're starting to get deep in a subject matter. You have to upgrade and increase your capacity for what opportunities and what certain financial instruments are out there and available for you. So therefore you can grow your finances and protect your finances and grow your finances in the right way according to what's available in the marketplace today. So let's talk about life insurance. This is not your granddaddy's life insurance policy, strategy, or structure, or conversation. You know, buy term and invest the difference. Which by the way, in my 22 years of observation, everything has to go perfectly right in order for that financial strategy to actually work out. And quite frankly, I've not seen it work out. You know why? Because people blow the difference. Or best case scenario, people end up 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years into a term insurance policy and they see the policy expire because it is only for a certain term. And they say, you know what? I love to keep this policy. And next thing you know, the cost of insurance just skyrockets up like this. And they can't afford to keep the life insurance policy. And worst case scenario, because they didn't invest the difference. They were never self-insured. And they certainly can use that life insurance policy. But sadly, it expired. And they can't afford a new premium. So listen, buy a term and invest the difference. It's a strategy that's out there. For a lot of people, it works, and for a lot of people, it doesn't. And it's not the only financial strategy, which today I will also share with you too as well. These three financial strategies using life insurance does not work for everybody either. You have to sit down with your life insurance professional that's properly trained and educated and aware that has a multitude of products and services to give you options with to make sure that these strategies are suitable and appropriate for you, not for the agent, but for you. So let's talk about number one, living benefits. This is something that you most likely will not be able to find at your bank, uh, life insurance offerings through your credit card, life insurance offerings through your job, life insurance offerings through many brokerage, uh, uh, financial advisor, life insurance options, um, through your typical uh, middle of the run, your New York Life's and Northwestern Mutual Life's. They just don't simply have this thing called living benefits. Now, living benefits is quite different than terminal illness benefits. What am I talking about? If you 
have a policy that has living benefits, okay? Lots of times people purchase a policy from companies like Aflac, Combined Insurance, an Aon Corporation uh, uh, subsidiary, and they sell you what they call supplemental life insurance. And they sell you cancer insurance, they sell you disability insurance, they sell you critical care insurance. But inside modern policies today, they might either have a rider that has a small additional cost on top of a normal policy, or some policies have no additional costs to it. They have things called living benefits, which means that if you ever were to suffer a heart attack, stroke, cancer, older in age, and need some form of long-term care, you get disabled because you get T-bone in an intersection. It takes you six months to learn how to walk again. And hospitals are paid for by your health insurance policies, but your ability to work and earn a living is paid for by what? Your life insurance policy? That's correct. If it does have living benefits. So if you're taking notes right now, either drop down in your notes, living benefits, do I have those? Question mark. And even in the comment section, living benefits, do I have those? Drop in the comment section so that if you're reminded to go back, if you watch this video all over again, that you dropped a message that you were asking questions about whether or not your life insurance policies have living benefits. Now, if it does not, these are major, major benefits for you. Let me give you a couple examples. Listen, I've, I've delivered death benefits to my clients in previous years and it absolutely changed my perspective of this job that I had in the insurance industry when I delivered to a client who sadly passed away and I sent, uh, sent the death claims in and they received the uh, death benefit proceeds. I get a death benefit proceeds. I went to the funeral, I handed them a couple checks from the life insurance company and I handed the daughter a title to a paid off house and another uh, envelope that uh, they inherited an annuity through an IRA, an individual retirement, because it was an inherited IRA type of situation. I had four total checks, and she just embraced me at the funeral, and she was introduced me to all her family members. Hey, aunt, uncle, and cousins, this is my financial guy, my financial guy. I said, I said, you know, miss, I love referrals, just not at the funeral, <laughs> okay? It's kind of awkward, but I'm so glad I was able to help your family. And the last thing you think about this moment is finances, is money to bury your loved ones. But that's part of life insurance. What I'm talking about here is living benefits because we had uh, a guy that actually built my website, Dustin Frampton. He uh, was reading my website, was watching my videos. He was updating my, through WordPress, updating my website. And he says, hey, he tell, tells his wife, hey, babe, I think we need to pay attention to this. Make a long story short, uh, his wife uh, comes to our office. They become agents with our firm. They take advantage of this opportunity. During one, of the, uh, uh, during one of the moments they purchased an additional life insurance policy without ever thinking in a million years that at 38 years old, just a little over a year later, he would have a stroke. And uh, anyway, I'll skip over all the details, but make a long story short, Kenya says, Matt, nobody can tell me nothing about life insurance. Nobody can tell me nothing about PHP 18. Nobody can tell me nothing about not having the right style and type of coverage of having living benefits because it saved our financial life because she's like, Matt, I'm a wife, we've got children, we have uh, costs of living, we have businesses we need to run, thank God we had living benefits while my husband was alive, not in the ground, but while alive. So if you wanna check out that interview with Kenya and Dustin Frampton, check this video out right here of what their experience was receiving a living benefit from a major life insurance company because it had the right type of styling. It was upgraded for today's modern era. Another uh, conversation I had, one of our guys here, Christian Ortiz, everybody's laughing at him because we recruited him into the life insurance industry because it was a much better income opportunity and he can control his schedule. He was relegated to a retail store. Anyway, make a long story short, getting clowned. Christian, what are you doing? Get involved in life insurance. You know, Mexican people don't sell life insurance. Anyway, he stuck with it. Sold his mother a life insurance policy with living benefits. Just a little over a year later, guess what mom comes down with? She comes down with breast cancer. Fights through it, fights through it, goes through chemotherapy. Amazing fight that she put. She survived breast cancer and beat it in all months in October of that year. Christian says, you know what, mom, I'm going to file a claim of living events to the carrier that we uh, had you purchase life insurance through. And next thing you know, the carrier issues a check from the death benefits without having to be buried in the ground because she qualified for living benefits. And he goes to a family uh, dinner and says, hey, how many of you guys were clowning me because I got involved in life insurance injury? How many of you helped my mom pick up the house when she was going through chemotherapy? How many of you guys were helping out cook food when she was going through chemotherapy? How many of you guys were helping her 
assist her when she's going through literally a life-threatening illness. Silence. Well, I gave my mom a check, and my mom doesn't have to go back to work for a year so she can buy the best foods, the healthiest foods, have peace of mind not having to rush into getting a job, all because of living benefits. Now, we had another agent, and people clown and say, hey, man, why are you guys recruiting in the hood? Why are you guys selling in the hood? Because you know why? Nobody else is. We're trying to help our communities and not enough life insurance agents in our communities. Guess what we're doing? We're recruiting agents from the hood to go back to the hood to sell life insurance and educate the communities. By the way, there's money in the hood. Yes, there is money. In the, it may not be as nice as the suburbs or the country club areas across the tracks, but there sure is money in the hood. And the way we improve our communities is to represent them with life insurance agents that can expand everybody's knowledge. Anyway, make a long story short. Let me get off my soapbox. We had a young man. He came to one of our workshops, he did it at the house. Expand, we're expanding their knowledge about life insurance. He says, it makes sense. He buys a life insurance policy with the, the little he could afford. He says, Matt, I can, I'm very comfortable in putting 52, 55 bucks away for life insurance policy with one of our agents. Anyway, it was Angel and Misty Bagan. By the way, check out this video about that story. Angel and Misty Bagan, because they're selling in the hood. Let me paraphrase for you what the story, let me shorten the story, make a long story short here. Come to find out a year and some change later, this brother has a heart attack, has a heart attack, okay? Thank God, survives. Make a long story short, he qualified for the policy, and he had living benefits on the policy, and he received a nice, sizable check for the death benefit of the policy while he's alive, without being buried in the ground because he had a policy and asked questions, and his agents properly represented him to the marketplace as, hey, you wanna make sure that your life insurance policy just not only has a death benefit, but a living benefit. He put approximately $50 a month into it for a little year and some change, got out of it over $80,000, didn't have to rush back to work. Then he said, hey boss, clock me in, clock me out. He can get the right health care, right food, and rest and recuperate from having such a challenge in health, a change in health so early in his life. So if you're watching this video right now and you don't have living benefits on your policy, put it in the comment section below. I need living benefits on my policy. Next one, by the way, living benefits again is not terminal illness where you're terminally ill and you get money from your life insurance policy. This is not what that is. The major difference, so people say, oh, I got a living benefits. No, we read the policy, it's actually a terminal illness rider, not living benefits rider. Big difference, okay. Market volatility. Lots of times people don't think that you can use life insurance for avoiding and leveraging and hedging against market volatility. Lots of times people don't think, even to this day, even since the 1980s when 401ks were created, that people still don't think that 401ks is directly tied to the stock market. And that is due to the lack of financial literacy and financial education in our country today. And I've been doing this for a minute. And I still run across people not knowing how their 401k benefits work. That it's directly tied to the ups and downs of the stock market. That they are responsible for how their future retirement plan or future retirement nest egg is supposed to be created. I think about one time uh, one of the uh, uh, pension experts comes in and says, listen, there's what we call 401k disparity. What do you mean by 401k disparity? You meant that the CEOs and the VPs at a corporation, because they had access to education and awareness of how stocks, bonds, and mutual funds and investments work, they were able to appropriately put their 401ks with the company match if they had it to make sure they got the most from their 401k benefits versus the rank and file employees, the lower income paid employees at the firm had an income disparity or yield disparity because they did not have access to the buddies at the country club because they didn't go to country club. And so there was a 401k disparity, a difference of yield between those that make a lot of money in the company versus those that made very little at the company because they had lack of information, education, and awareness. I'll give you an example. When I got the military and I was getting on my feet, just getting my business off the ground, um, I ran into my seventh grade teacher. And my seventh grade teacher said, hey, I remember you, blah, 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 blah. And I just built a friendship and a report with my seventh grade teacher. And I mean, like long story short, he goes, well, what are you doing these days? So I got involved in the insurance industry. I'm helping with retirement planning, college planning, you know, estate planning, life insurance planning. Really? I've always been interested in the type of stuff. I'm about to retire as a teacher here in the Illinois system. We have a TRS system and we have a pension and so many other things. I like to know what my options are. Anyway, make a long story short, I said, it'd be honored to have lunch with you because we always looked up to you as a father figure to us young boys that was coming to that school. We always looked up to you. It'd be an honor for me to share with you what I know, not the fact that you got to be a client of mine, 
but I just want to share with you what I know and what I've been armed and licensed to do. And I'm helping strangers every day. It'd be an honor to help a man that actually affected my life when I was in seventh grade to help you understand what we do. So therefore, you can go to the people that help you with the retirement planning and implement some of the things that we talked about. So anyway, make a long story short, we had that lunch. He goes, hey, Matt, I couldn't think of no other person to help me with my retirement than you. Make a long story short, we helped mitigate and eliminate volatility in what he was doing because he said, Matt, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with the ups and downs of the market here. What can I do with it? So we, we found an amount, a percentage that was suitable for him that he was saying, you know what, no matter what happens, I need to know this money is going to be there. So therefore, I could be a little bit more adventurous over here with my other, uh, my other investment guy. But with you, my insurance guy, I just need to make sure that this is safe, secure right here. No problem. We use a combination of life insurance strategies and uh, uh, fixed and index annuity strategies. Make a long story short, the market crashed in 08, 09. Guess what was happening in 08, 09? He was retiring as a teacher. Guess what happened to his retirement account? Nothing, zero, zero losses, zero losses. Guess what happened to the equity, which is another strategy I'm about to bring up here in a second. Guess what happened to the equity that he built up in his house that was virtually paid off? He had two more mortgage payments to completely pay off his mortgage by the time I met him. Guess what happened to the equity inside his property because we use some of these life insurance strategies. Guess what happened? Nothing. And fast forward, he was able to retire during the midst of the recession, he was able to not only relocate from one neighborhood to his dream neighborhood to buy his dream house, but the rest of his retirement, the rest of his pension, the rest of what he put away for the rest of his life, guess what? Did not get affected by the drop in the stock market during the Great Recession of 0809. This money that was smartly put inside the life insurance industry, which is a sector that a lot of people don't like to give a lot of love to. But it was a saving grace for my seventh grade teacher. He's happy he did it, he's happy he put it away. Again, and also attached to it, as he gets older, is also living benefits. So if the situation comes up where he's unable to take care of himself, because he doesn't have any kids, if he's unable to take care of himself, he has the money and the financial wherewithal to hire home health care above and beyond what Medicare will take care of, and he's able to maintain independence, his dignity, and maintain his relationship with his wife at whatever community they decide to retire or stay in their house, whatever it is. Got the finances there, the pool of money established, the buckets of money established, so therefore they're independent and more importantly, less dependent on government, church, charity, other nonprofit organizations. Why? Because we smartly put their money away in life insurance strategy. Yes, this is what life insurance does. Did you know this? This is what life insurance does. It's more than just cheap term, cheap premium, big death benefit. This is a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't realize that life insurance can do, especially when it comes to the ups and downs of the stock market. Okay, number three. By the way, if you said, man, I am sick and tired of the ups and downs of the stock market, put it in the comment section below. I am tired of ups and downs of the stock market. There are ways that you can lock in gains. It's called an annual lock-in and reset feature that is included within inside life insurance policies that are fixed and indexed as well as fixed and indexed annuities, not variable. I am not talking about variable life insurance policies here. I'm talking about only fixed and indexed, safe, secure financial vehicles that has an annual lock-in and reset. Again, these are questions that you need to be asking the people that help you with your finances and more specifically your life insurance contracts, ask for annual lock-in and reset. Boom. Question to ask the person that handles your life insurance strategies. Okay. Third one. It's a little bit of a sophisticated strategy. But this is a strategy where I cut my teeth in for the first 15 years of my career with inside the Chicagoland real estate community. I was known a lot with inside uh, the Chicago real estate investment clubs. I was known a lot with inside the Chicago uh, real estate um, car with the Chicago, uh, Chicago area real estate agents. But how can I use life insurance to buy more real estate? Either a personal residence or invest in more real estate using what? Life insurance, yes. Again, without having to die. So this is what I call a strategic cash out refinance strategy. Let's say 
you bought a house in 2011. I'm just, by the way, this is all, I'm just paraphrasing here, just having general case study type of uh, scenarios here. Again, zero specifics. This is not an actual client, but this is an actual scenario that you can plug and play these numbers in, again, based on your situation or something that you may know of. But let's say you bought a house in 2011, and since 2011, that property value has gone up. And what has been happening lately because of the real estate market? Because there's a lack of homes in inventory for sale. What has gone to current prices of homes right now on the marketplace? It is a seller's market. Due to the lack of inventory, availability, construction, there's not a lot of homes for sale. I think the data states that there's 1.5 million realtors, according to the National Association of Realtors, uh, 1.5 million real estate agents in the marketplace today, but only 1 million homes in the marketplace to sell. So your typical real estate agent will have nothing to sell potentially here in the next six to 12 months. But here in this scenario, let's say you bought a house in 2011 and the value grew, the equity in the house expand. Equity meaning that whatever you have in terms of owing, in terms of your mortgage balance and whatever the house is worth, subtract what you owe, that's your equity, okay? So in this scenario, you bought a house at $250,000, okay, cost basis, and this $250,000 grew to today a $450,000 house 11, 10, 11 years later, okay? I'm just using this as a scenario, okay? For some of you, man, it's pretty aggressive. I'm just using it as a, just, you might have done it in 2001, okay? It, it doesn't matter. The important thing is you have equity inside the house. If you have equity inside the house. So in this scenario, you may have purchased this, again, back to 2011 numbers, okay? You may have purchased it and your mortgage on a 30-year mortgage based a 5% interest rate, which was the going interest rate back in 2011, your mortgage with PITI, principal interest, taxes, and insurance, your total mortgage payment, including taxes and insurance, is $2,500, okay? I'm just, by the way, these are probably not specific to the actual balance. I didn't do any specific math. I'm just using this as a general to show a concept. Again, that's why you gotta go to your mortgage professional and ask him to plug in these numbers based on this strategy. Okay, based on a 30-year mortgage at a 5% interest rate, based on 2011 rates, your mortgage is, with tax and insurance, your payment each month is $2,500, okay? Your mortgage uh, is now decreasing uh, over time. The amortization, you're starting to pay off more of your mortgage balance versus the uh, interest. The balance is starting to decline. Okay, a strategy could be you do a cash out refinance, you talk to your mortgage professional, you refinance at 2021 rates, which is not at 5%. 2021 rates are at 3%. So you cash out 80% of the value of your house, which is $450,000. 80% of that is approximately 360, 360 some thousand dollars. You cash out that equity, but guess what happens to your payment? Because you are refinancing at a 3% interest rate. It was formerly at a 5% interest rate. Potentially, your mortgage payment stays the same, okay? But the big difference is you now have access, liquid access at the closing table to a, after closing costs, approximately $105,000 cash out, which was normally sitting in your house. And how much interest does your equity pay you as it's sitting inside your house on a monthly basis? You know what the answer is? Zero. But through this cash out refinance process, guess what you potentially have now? You potentially have the opportunity for this $105,000, which is normally debt equity, to now be mobilized because you liquidated it through a cash out refinance, thereby restarting the clock again from a 30. So the example is if your 30 year was, was uh, down to 20 years or 15 years, you restarted the clock back up again at 30 years, but your mortgage payment is still the same. The big difference, again, is you now have liquid as your hands are on $105,000. You can do a couple things with this. You could potentially put inside a side bucket, which is a properly structured life insurance retirement plan, okay? Sometimes people call this an infinite banking concept or the, uh, many different ways, the 7702 plan, but you structure this, we squeeze down the death benefit on the policy, which might be equivalent to what you owe on the mortgage balance, but you pack it in full of cash according to 1982 guidelines, 84 guidelines, 1988 guidelines, and otherwise known as TEFRA, DEFRA, and TAMRA. And life insurance agents 
that are properly trained will know exactly what I'm talking about. If they have no clue what I'm talking about, they are not properly trained for this insurance industry strategy. When we're looking at this at $105,000, now you got a couple of ways to do this. You can put some of that cash inside a permanent life insurance contract that you don't touch for 5, 10, 15 years, allow this money to grow, which again, this life insurance contract potentially have a death benefit of, in this, I'm just putting again, an example of a $450,000 death benefit, so in, in case something happens to you, not only do you have your cash inside the policy, because life insurance policies, according to option B of life insurance policies, can say you can not only get your cash value of your policy, but also the death benefit that's on a policy. So if you have, let's like, say, say, say for example, you have $105,000 of cash value inside this policy, you will not only receive $105,000 plus interest, whatever you've earned inside the policy, but you also have the $450,000 of death benefit associated to the policy. It adds a little bit more cost to the policy in the contract, but you get both. Dave Ramsey and Susie, Susie Orman say, no, 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 the life insurance policy, uh, the, the cash value is kept by the Insurance company, scam, 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 wrong. It, it's true if it's option A, but if it's option B, again, the life insurance companies have adopted and changed to be more consumer friendly. These are financial strategies that you should at least be aware of. And so in this strategy here, again, $450,000 pays off the mortgage, your $105,000, whatever cash value is inside the policy goes to your pocket, and because it's paid through a death benefit, according to section 101A of the Internal Revenue Code, money that comes from a life insurance policy has zero income tax. Zero income tax. So if you receive $450,000 plus 105, that money is then not touchable by the IRS because it's paid in the form of a death benefit, okay? The other strategy is to do a combination of life insurance and add this money as a down payment to purchase more real estate, to purchase more uh, uh, um, property or properties, expand your real estate investing portfolio. Wow, I just covered a lot. So I know what probably some of you guys are doing right now. You're doing this <gasps> home alone phase, right? Well, listen, if there's anything else, I don't want you to be alone with not knowing. These strategies aren't suitable and appropriate for a lot of people. But the purpose of this video is to share with you three shocking things and benefits that life insurance can do for the right person. Again, you have to go talk to your financial professional. Guys, your typical financial advisor who does not have a life insurance license would know how to articulate this. And by the way, just because they have the name financial advisor next to their name, guess what they know what to do? They know stocks, bonds, mutual funds. They don't know necessarily about the life insurance industry. And by the way, that financial advisor doesn't have the continuing education and the reach to really understand a lot of life insurance, but they can financially advise you on mutual funds, stocks, bonds, all those other things, okay? So this is something that the life insurance industry for many, many years has never got any respect in, but these are things that they've done because... A lot of people just aren't sharing these things. And again, these are things that's available. Wealthy people know these financial strategies. Um, once these strategies are illustrated and people qualify for it, because not everybody can qualify for this because again, it's tied to health. You have to be fairly healthy to qualify for this and for this all to make sense. So, also, so therefore the cost of insurance is at least available. So again, if you're young and you ever want to establish these strategies down the road when you're married, You've expanded your portfolio in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, in real estate. You might be able to say, hey, babe, guess what I did when I was in my early 20s? I bought a life insurance policy. And instead of buying another life insurance policy, I can still utilize this life insurance policy that I do have and shove cash inside of this because I decided to establish it 5, 10, 15, 20 years earlier when I was younger and I locked in my health. So make sure you lock in your health because who knows what happens when you're in your 30s and your 40s, just like the two stories I share with you were two people in their late thirties that suffered a um, heart attack, uh, stroke and uh, cancer. So I know what you're thinking. We threw a lot at you. So please watch this video, how millionaires use life insurance to build wealth. The other video I want you to check out too as well to deepen your knowledge is the difference between term insurance and permanent insurance and what the difference could be massive advantageously for you. If you know the difference here with that being said, guys at the comment section below, I want to know what's one strategy, that you want to explore more of after watching this video, put it in the comment section. Let's say, I want to explore more of 
blank. I want to explore more of blank. Put your blank in the comment section below which one of these three strategies makes the most sense to you. Once again, guys, I love knowing your thoughts, your comments, your follow-ups, your feedback. Drop them also in the comment section below. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our Facebook business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we're about to cross 100,000 subs thanks to you. Please click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.